Installation of Johnny 5 is pretty much the same on a Raspberry Pi as it is on a host machine for an Arduino. However, since Johnny 5 was designed with Arduinos in mind, you have to install one additional package on your Pi that acts as a plug-in to route Johnny 5 commands to the appropriate pins. Now there may be multiple Raspberry Pi plugins for Johnny 5, I've honestly not looked too in depth, but the one I'm going to be using in this course is Raspi IO. I do want to point out a couple of things before going much further though. I'm running a Raspberry Pi 2 in this demo, so if you have a different version, then you should be okay so long as you're not running an early Raspberry Pi Model A version. I believe that is currently the only Raspberry Pi version not supported by Raspi IO, so basically, if you're running a Raspberry Pi Model B Revision 1 or newer, then you should be fine. Additionally, this NPM package requires GCC 4.8 or newer, which is included with a Raspi and Jesse OS distribution released in September of 2015. So if you are currently running an older distribution, you may want to update your OS before continuing. And finally, you will need Node.js to continue, and the Raspi IO package requires version 0.12 or newer. If you need help installing Node.js on your Pi, then I do have a course available entitled Installing Node.js on a Raspberry Pi to help you out, which I referenced in the course description. Now technically speaking, you can use this package outside of Johnny 5, but the author warns against it as the bulk of the functionality is made up by dependent packages, with the Raspi IO package being more of a shim to act as a communication layer between Johnny 5 and the underlying packages. So essentially the author states that if you want to use JavaScript on your Pi without Johnny 5, then you can certainly do so, but you should probably utilize the underlying packages of Raspi IO directly. All right, now with all of those announcements out of the way, I'll first need to SSH into my Pi so that I can begin installation of the framework and plugin packages. So I'll run SSH Pi at Good Pi, where Pi is the username and Good Pi is the host name of my Raspberry Pi. And then type in my super secure password of password123. All right, now I will first create a demo folder here in my home directory to house the node modules and the demo code to run. And then I'll CD into that. Now the installation of Johnny 5 is pretty much the same as it was on my PC in the last section, with the exception that I also need to install the Raspi IO package, which I will do in the same command by running npm install Johnny 5 Raspi IO. And this takes a hot minute to run, so I will just go ahead and fast forward through this a bit. Now just to make sure everything installed correctly, I will list the contents of the demos directory, and I should see a node modules folder. All right, and then if I list the contents of that directory, I should see Johnny5 and Raspi IO. Perfect. Now before digging into the code, the Raspi IO docs state that the Pi must be rebooted after installing the package and before executing any code for the first time. This should just be a one-time deal, so you shouldn't have to reboot again for any subsequent installs of the package in other directories. So I will just go ahead and reboot my Pi quickly using sudo reboot. And now I will SSH back into the Pi. And CD back into the demos directory. All right, now that should be all I have to do from an installation perspective. But before I move on, I do want to point out that if you want more info on the Raspi IO package, as well as the underlying packages that support it, a good starting place is the GitHub repo at https whack whack, github.com slash nebrius slash raspi.io.